The latest progress report on the official Godot website states that a new node is coming to Godot 4.3. And today I want to talk about it. I might do a little paraphrasing here and there, so be mindful. I'll leave a link to the full article in the description. So the name of this new node is Parallax 2D, and it is supposed to be replacing the current Parallax nodes, both of them. I never really liked the fact that the Parallax nodes were split into two anyway, so this is a welcome change. It also says that we are going to be able to convert current Parallax nodes um, to Parallax 2D. This node is labeled as experimental, so it could still have a lot of bugs and things. So if you want to use the old ones, you can still do that. And they're not even old because the new version technically isn't even out yet. So they just be the current versions and then there's the new version if you want. Anyway, some features coming to Parallax 2D. It's going to inherit the base class of Node 2D from the Parallax layer node. And then they listed a bunch of things that they're going to be improving on with this node. Simplified workflow, so I assume that means removing certain features or streamlining it, I mean removing any fluff, ability to follow camera rotation. So it's going to be able to pan with the camera. Compatibility with Canvas Group and Backbuff for copies. Support for zooming out with Camera 2D, Auto Scroll, Improved Documentation, Performance Improvements. Okay, all that sounds pretty good. They also showed an image of what the inspector panel for this node is going to look like, some properties unique to it. One of these properties I just mentioned, Auto Scroll. It's going to do what it sounds like. It's going to let you scroll layers automatically. Another property, Repeat Times, is going to fix an issue with zooming out and infinite repeating. Apparently, there is an issue where if you zoom out and try to repeat, the scrolling effect is broken. This property is supposed to be addressing that. All right, so I think I got all the major things about this node out the way. Some things to keep in mind with this new node. It's going to be coming with Godot 4.3. So that's the next release which should be coming out any day now. It is also meant to replace the current set of parallax nodes. They plan to eventually deprecate the previous two nodes, but not completely remove them. This node sounds very promising. I like a lot of the features. I think they're really trying to simplify the process of making 2D backgrounds and scrolling effects. And when Godot 4.3 comes out, I'll be testing that and I'll also be testing this new node and making different backgrounds, seeing how it works. So subscribe if you want to see that. So I think I've covered everything. Have a great rest of your day and see ya.